Hey, what's up everyone? Jason Turley here, back with another video from the Pico Mini series by Redpwn, which is a very, uh, I guess, elite capture the flag group, Redpwn, and this is in the reverse engineering category. So it's 150 points, so it's on the easier end of the spectrum, and the description is short and sweet. There's crypto in here, but the challenge is not crypto, dot, 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 inquisitive thinking emoji face. So we scroll down here and there's a uh, file, right? So we can right click, copy the link. So we come over to our terminal and we can slam that in here and use wget to download it. LS, file, not crypto. It's an ELF 64-bit executable file. It's dynamically linked, which just means it will pull in libraries from external resources. Not everything is statically compiled within the binary and it's stripped, meaning there's no debugging symbols. If we want to run this, we need to make the permissions executable with change mod plus X, and now we can run it. Heard you wanted to bargain for a flag, what you got? And then it pauses and hangs and waits for us to enter something. So let's just type a sub, LOL, just type some random stuff, maybe some percent signs, all right, nothing. All right, after we hit enter a few times, it comes back up and it says, nope, come back later, and then it exits the program. We can run strings on the binary to see if there's anything there. We see a few function calls, put string, standard input, file read, mem compare. We see the text messages that were displayed, and yep, that's it. So I guess once you enter the cur correct value, that will pop up, but we don't see a flag here or anything that we can input that will give us the flag. So let's analyze this program with GDB. I have a plugin called GEF, the GDB enhanced framework installed. So that's why my prompt is a little bit different. We see here no debugging symbols found, but we already knew that because this is a stripped binary. So what does that mean? No debugging symbols. If I do disassemble and hit the tab key twice, normally for non-strip binaries that still have all the debugging information, all the helpful, useful bits and pieces for reverse engineering the binary, they're not there. So there's no main function. There's no starting point that we can latch onto. So we need to get a little bit creative. So we see these functions, fread, put string, and memcompare. So we know put string is being used to print out that text that we saw earlier. I heard you wanted to bargain for a flag, so that's likely being printed with put string. Fread is likely used to read our input that we type in. And mcompare or memcompare, it's probably being used to compare what we input with what's being expected. And if we're not familiar with any of these commands, we can look them up with the man page. So man mem compare, compare memory addresses. So this function is available in the C standard library and it takes three arguments. So the mem compare function compares the first n bytes, each interpreted as an unsigned character of the memory areas S1 and S2. So if you're familiar with string comparison, where it compares two given strings, this is very similar. Instead, it compares to memory addresses. So we can come back to here and we can simply set a breakpoint on memcompare. You can do it on the regular mcompare or you can do at PLT, the procedure linkage table. So the binary, the program does not know where these functions are at in memory. So if we do a disassemble of memcompare, we don't get a full address because this is dynamically dynamically linked. So meaning we won't get that full address until we actually run the program. So let's set our breakpoint at memcompare at the procedure linkage table. And now hit R to run the program. It prints out that same message we saw earlier. And we can just keep on typing stuff. This doesn't really matter up until it exits out like we saw before. There we go. So it dumps all this information. That's like one of the benefits of using GEF over regular GDB. 
So we see here our breakpoint was hit. It prints out the different registers, so the different variables essentially. And we can see here in register RDI, the start of our flag, Pico CTF, compiler optimization is peer wizardry, but, and then the rest is cut off. So if we want to print out that value, we can do X for examine slash X. So examine this value as a string, the register RDI, and there we go. It prints out the full flag right there. Pico CTF, compiler optimization is peer widgetry, but no problem. So we can grab that, slam it in here, and we solved the challenge. If you're curious more on what the PLT is, there's some great resources on the line I found on Stack Overflow that explain it here. And if you're super, super curious about different linkers and loaders, I'll provide some more excellent resources here. There's this online uh, book that talks all about linkers and loaders, probably more information that you will, will ever need. Because this stuff does get interesting, compilers and assemblers and linkers and loaders and binaries and all that you know, super detailed, low level engineering stuff. So that's it for this challenge. Pretty short, pretty sweet. Let me know if you guys found a different or better way to solve this in the comments down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow on Twitter, all that nonsense. As always, take it easy and see you guys in the next video.